What's going on everyone? Hope everyone's doing fantastic. And uh, since we finally have a day here in North Carolina where the weather is looking like it's going to cooperate with us, we got beautiful skies, the birds are chirping. This feels really good today. So I thought it would be a perfect day to show you about my new bow I got. I gotta say this is gonna be a fun day because I'm gonna be showing y'all kind of how I shoot this bow and what makes this bow so much different than say my compound or anything else like my crossbow or anything is this bow doesn't have any sights, has no stabilizer, just pretty much a stick and a string. Alright so this is it. This is my recurve bow. You can see it right here and this bow right here is the Ascent recurve bow. It's made by a company. Let's see if you can zoom in right here on it. It is made by October Mountain Products. So you see this camouflage tape on here. Um, I put that on there. I just did that for a little bit more camouflage in the front of the bow and make it look a little bit cooler. Just trying to add a little bit more to it. And I think I'd also help protect it on the front where that um, vinyl tape is right there. I got an aluminum riser on it and I think it's see what it says. It's 58 inches and it has a 40 pound draw. And unlike a compound bow, this bow has absolutely zero let off. So whenever I pull this bow back, I'm pulling back the full force of this string. And I gotta hold it there until the time I re actually release my arrow. So this is gonna be different. This is gonna be a challenge. And as you can see, I have nothing attached to it. All I have on here is my little felt wrist right there. And that's it. No sights, no stabilizer nothing more than just me pulling the string back and letting the arrow fly. It's going to be completely instinctive shooting and I think I think I'm going to start off pretty close range and work my way back because I really don't want to lose any arrows. As a matter of fact I might rig something up so maybe like some wood or something behind there so I don't lose any arrows. Alright so right here are the type of arrows that I'm going to be shooting with this bow. These are gold tip arrows with just a regular little practice tip for today's purposes, just shooting into a target. And these are, you can see here, these are 600 spine arrows. And it's got the, you can see, kind of like the feathered, um, kind of traditional type fletchings. But enough of this talking, I'm really ready to shoot this. All right, so what I've already done here is I've got a piece of plywood laid out with my targets and I'm going to see if I can get these set up. Pretty much just got this set up this way right here. You see the plywood behind it because you have to remember I'm an archer not a sniper so I really don't want to lose any of my arrows back here. But I just got this big foam target right here underneath of this uh, regular foam block right here. This is a little bit denser but both of these uh, trad bows not going to be shooting the arrows too awful hard so I think both of these will be able to stop it and obviously if I miss this plow rod right here should do plenty good to stop me from losing any of my arrows in the dirt back there. Yeah, so this is the most actual professional looking setup there ever was in the world. But for my purposes today, I think it'll do just fine. So I'm ready to shoot. And one thing we really need to do is to make sure that my dog right here does not get in front of me shooting. But yeah, so we're going to make sure that trigger stays behind me while I'm shooting today. Alright so now I'm approximately about 15 yards from the targets here and this is going to be my starting distance just to um, kind of shoot a few arrows and see how I can do. Alright so before I actually take any shots what I'm going to go ahead and do is put on my shooting glove and I guess this is kind of thought to be like uh, your shooting aid kind of like on a compound bow you have a little mechanical release that you use with the trigger on it. Um, no trigger or no release here. I just have a little shooting glove here to protect my fingers on pulling back at string because that's all I'm using is my fingers to pull back string. This trigger, I make sure he's well behind me before I take any shots. I'm going for the black target. Just trying to hit the center of it as best I can for these first few shots. So if I can even hit it. Sure, come here. Come here. Don't want to get an arrow in you. Sit right there.
a uh, little bit high on that first shot, but hey, I hit the target. Not bad. Dang, I about hit the same spot. Turn, come here. It's not time to get full arrows yet. He gets excited. All right, for this final arrow, I need to aim down just a little bit. Oh, one other thing that I would need to say um, when shooting a trad bow that I've learned, that in order to keep your arrow actually on your rest, what you have to do while shooting a compound, you're actually going to be shooting straight on. But with a trad bow, you're actually going to tilt your bow a little bit. So when you draw back, your arrow is going to be held. So that way, the whole way through, your arrow is going to be there. All right, so I'm going to take this final shot here. Oh, I hit it to the left. It's all right. It's not a terrible shot. Uh, it's not terrible. Not exactly where I was aiming. I mean, considering I was aiming somewhere right in here, just center of this block target. Um, these two were pretty well on center, but this is a little high, and this one getting back down to that level right, but I hit a little bit too too far to the left. All right, so I just pulled my arrows right here, and honestly, it's not terrible considering I have very little experience ever shooting a any sort of traditional bow. All right, so now I have backed up all the way to about 20 yards. And you can see, what you looking at, Trigger? <laughs> Give me the look. But right here is my target, 20 yards away. And we're going to see how well I can hit it from 20 yards. All right, so here we are, 20 yards, three arrows with the trad bow. Ah, so-so shot. Ah, that one was about dead level with the center of the target. That was just a little bit left. Oh, I pulled a little bit too much on that one. It went a little bit too high. I hit the, the very top of the target. All right, guys, this is my three-shot group at 20 yards with my trad bow. If I can hit, if I, I feel like if I can even hit this block at 30 yards, I'm going to be satisfied. That's going to be the goal for shooting 30 yards. All right, here we are at all the way at 25 yards. All right, so I just realized this angle will be a lot better because you can actually see the targets and you can see me shooting at the same time. Oh, hit low, hit really low. All right, so it's the final arrow right here on target, 25 yards. Need this one to be good. Oh, I hit high, I hit high, but I hit the target, so let's go check it out. Okay, so this wasn't quite as good as I was hoping it to be. Uh, my group's kind of opened up. What do you think, Trigger? How am I shooting? Yeah, stretch it. Maybe I should have stretched for a shot. I am at 30 yards right now. All right, so I'm getting ready to shoot and everything, but one thing I have to make note of is I now have mad respect for everybody who hunts with a trad bow because it is a challenge. Mad respect for those people. Y'all are awesome. All right. I just want to get one arrow on that black target right there. And that's going to be challenge complete for me. Yes! I got an arrow in there. It is at the bottom of the target, but it is in the target. Absolutely no doubt about it. Now let's see if I can actually get one close to the center. Yes, two, two, both of them are on target. Have not hit the plywood yet, thank goodness. Oh my gosh, I think that one went pretty close to the bullseye. Guys, I ain't believing this. Look at this shot group, look at that. Now that shot right there, I am pretty happy about that. I can't believe I actually shot better at 30 than I did at 25. So yeah, this has been just really a lot of fun, just trying to 
get the hang of shooting a trad bow, shooting no sights, no stabilizer, no release, just me straight shooting the bow. So hope you've really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. And as always, make the best in life. Also, a huge thanks to one of my subscribers, Landon, for this awesome gift right here. Thank you so much, buddy. It means a lot. Wait, wait. Has my GoPro even been recording? Yes, it has been. We are good, everyone. We have been getting these on film. I was kind of getting worried that uh, all that work was for nothing, but we're good. <laughs>